Hi, I'm Sandata here at Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction System Integration and Architecture Series. Today is lecture number 10. Let's proceed to our topic. The topic is the part 3 of ERP. Now, other ERP modules, so we have production, which helps in the planning and optimizing of the manufacturing capacity, parts, components, and material resources using historical production data and sales forecasting. Next is purchasing, which is identify streamlines the procurement process of required raw materials and other supplies. Next is inventory management. It facilitates the processes of maintaining the appropriate level of stock in a warehouse. Then we have miscellaneous modules which is non-traditional modules which has business intelligence, self-service, project management, and e-commerce. Under functional area information system which identifies potential input and output for each functional area described next. Note the kinds of data needed by each area and how people use the data. It also in identify information system maintain relationship between all functional areas and processes. Same as significant amount of data is maintained by and shared among the functional areas. Means with timeliness and accuracy of this data critical to each area's success and to company's ability to make a profit and generate future growth. And an ERP software allows all functional areas to share a common database, allows accurate, real-time information to be available. So we have here the components of the Enterprise System Architecture, ESA. The functional defines the ERP module that uh, support the various business function of the organization in examples include accounting, human resource, procurement, fulfillment, etc. And the second is the system. It defines the ERP architecture through the physical components of hardware, software, and networking angle. Next, we have the ESA continuation. Architecture helps implementation teams to understand in detail the future of and components of the enterprise system. It provides a visual representation of the complex system interface among ERP application and databases, operating system, legacy application, and networking. Identifies also the management can develop a better IT plan if the requirements for system infrastructure, training, change management, and business process, engineering, are clarified. So we have the three tire architecture identifies as the most of the current ERP implementation follows a three tire architecture which consists of the web tire, application tire, and data tire. So we have three web application and data. The benefits are scalability, easier to add, change, and remove application. Reliability, implementing multiple levels of redundancy. Flexibility, flexibility in partitioning in very simple. Maintainability, support and maintains costs are less on one server. Reusability, easier to implement reusable components. And the security, IT staff has more control system to provide higher security. So after benefits, we have limitations can be very expensive and complex. So we have here the three tires. The web tire is a web-based portal that allows users to ability access and analyze information through their web browser. The second one is the application tire, consists of a web browser and reporting tools where business processes and end users interact with the system. It also shields the business users from inner working of an ERP system, but it still provides information relevant to their job and business process. The third is the data tire, which focuses on the structure of all organizational data and its relationship with both internal and external system. So you will notice that the figure of a three-tier ERP architecture. From presentation, we have the GUI application, the application layer, which is the server, and we have the data layer, which are considered to be the backups. Example of architecture of ERP at large university. Again, it identifies the same process of the ERP, such as SAP, Oracle, and Microsoft. So we have the network, of course. So we have the example of architecture of ERP at large university. High-level enterprise resource planning system component. It identifies SAP, Oracle, and Microsoft. Next, we have also the webline ERP architecture. 
so you can check it out next we have the webline ERP architecture from business logic layer layered architecture and we have the SAP sales and distribution above diagram shows sub functionality for sales and distribution module diagram shows individual business activity within each sub functionality and flow of this activity and we have the order management process those are example of the architecture that's all for today thank you for watching and good luck congratulations you successfully finished our lecture number 10